Hey guys, it's Link Plays Games. Welcome back to my channel. So, <sighs> lots been going on. I wanted to take a second and talk with you guys and discuss what's been going on. Um, sorry, I look exhausted. I just worked 5 to 12, so that would be 8 hours, I think. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I worked about an eight-hour shift. I'm a little bit tired. Just, just a tiny bit. Just a tad. Just a smidgen. That ain't eight hours. That's not... No, it's not nine. It's seven. <laughs> um, I've been dealing with a lot of chaos here lately. I guess that's very on point for me to be dealing with haze like this. She is a bit rowdy here lately at night. Um, lots going on. Just, <sighs> Hayes, I guess this is the angle you guys are going to get now. I, I don't know. Anyways, so, as I was saying, a lot of chaos going on in my life. Last I updated you guys about was my cousin's passing back in December. I said I needed to take time. I went back to visit with family, stay with family, and take time to heal. Well, then I found out I had COVID. <laughs> um, that sucked. That it was it was really rough. I'm glad I had my inhaler. I'm glad that. I was able to work through it. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details of what happened during that time, but way more happened than I should have been okay with. But I think I was just too tired and too worn out to realize, hey, something's not right here. Um. I'm not going into details about it. For those who know, you know. If you don't know, just stay not knowing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had gotten really sick. And a lot of chaos has occurred from that. And from that point, I started like realizing that maybe my life's not heading in the direction I was thinking it was. Maybe my life needs to change. Maybe I need something different. Well, as you guys know, I cut off all my hair. Thought I was manic. I was for a moment. <laughs> and then I was like, Clarity. All the hair was getting out of my way of my thinking, I guess. <laughs> the hair dye was no longer affecting my brain. Like I said, I had come to realizations. I talked it over with like my friends and I was like, you know, I feel like I'm crazy for this. And they're like, no, you're not crazy, girl. Let's go. Let's move it along. And I was like... I'm kind of cozy like this, though. And they're like... Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Be my guest. And I was like, okay. And then I continued that path. And... Oh boy, did it not go well. But I think me realizing... That something needed to happen for my future to be on the path I want to be on. I think it made it easier in the long run. Um, again, not going into details. The only thing I can say is there are people who are very well involved with the history of my channel that will no longer be a part of it. I will not take down videos with this person or these people, whoever. 
is on, you know, whoever I'm discussing. I honestly don't know if I'm allowed to say who it is, um, or who they are, or whatever. Like, I'm not gonna discuss all that, because I don't- I don't want that drama. I don't want their 15 minutes of fame. Not dealing with it. Um, but like I said, they will no longer be associated with the future of my channel. They will just remain part of the history. Um, it has been agreed upon that the videos will stay up that I've uploaded with them. Um, but going forward, all ties are cut. And no, it's not Cass. <laughs> it is not my bestie. I, I love Cass. He is just... I need to spend more time with Cass. I need to be able to be like, hey, let's go play some Phasmo. I can't do that right now. Um, sucks. I could I could really use some Phasmophobia or Raft with him. I do have some Raft videos that I haven't uploaded yet. But like, at this moment, like I could use just gaming with him. Uh, I'm gonna get back into editing and uploading and getting back into who I am as a person, as a content creator, as somebody I love. I know a lot of people are like, that's very vain, that's very selfish, that's very, mm, I don't like that. You should be able to love yourself. Like, by no means should you be overly obsessed with yourself but as a content creator you're so gotta be a little vain to some extent it's kind of funny it's like a catch-22 because i sit here and i'll say i'm a very vain person because i'm a content creator and everyone's like you're the most selfless person i know like you put others before yourself blah 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 blah, blah. i'm not gonna sit there and talk about my good qualities to you guys That'd be vain. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh my god, don't say that about yourself. And I'm like, to an extent it's true. Because I content create, I talk about myself a lot. I, you know, I say here, go, oh, I'm so pretty. <laughs> Very rarely. I feel good about myself. Not 100% sure about pretty, but I'm kind of getting to think I'm pretty. Um, like I said, vain to some extent. I want to get back into loving myself as a person. And bit by bit, I have slowly started to love myself again. I went through a moment where I thought I wasn't good enough. Nothing I ever done was good enough. I wasn't good enough at work, I wasn't good enough at home, I wasn't good enough in my relationship, I wasn't good enough to anybody. And that was taking a toll on me. And like I said, I was realizing things about my future that wasn't adding up to where I was. So then I started to decide, I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to choose what makes me happy. I'm going to start choosing to feel good. And as I started to do that, it pushed away people who didn't need to be in my life. And I'm glad for that. Because once I stepped back and realized that I was holding on too tightly to the wrong things, I took a deep breath. And I just, I felt weightless. And through that, I've met somebody who's come into my life and reminds me every day that I'm doing my best. Like, he doesn't say it, but he's just him being there. I realize I'm doing my best. I want to do my best. I always want to, you know, do better and be better and... Make the changes that I need to make. Like, I didn't cut out root beer. But I've gotten back into drinking flavored waters. 
I've started to go for more walks. I've started being outside more, being a little bit more active, being a little bit more proactive in my own life and in things I need. Um, you know, with my friends that are around me. I realized, you know, a few of them don't really talk to me as much. They don't really care. And I'm fine with that. Because, sure, we can be good time friends. We can be friends when it's convenient. I mean, you want a drinking buddy? Sure. You want a gaming buddy? Sure. But I also found out who my ride and dies are. Like, Cass has been there every step. Like, we don't talk every day like we used to. I, I, did we used to? <laughs> I think for a moment we talked every day. And then, since then, it's kind of been like fizzle, 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 fizzle. And even then, we still talk and catch up with each other. Like, no time has passed. You know, another person who's in my life, we talk just about every day. If we don't talk, we send a meme or something, or send each other a TikTok video, or something, something dumb. But we know without a doubt, when shit hits the fan, we're gonna be there for each other. You know? I realized who my people are. <laughs> and that was a great feeling. Because yeah, I have my good time friends. But I also have my bad day friends and when I'm feeling alone friends and who I can count on friends. I don't think I ever had that before. And it put my mind at such ease. Like, I can call one of them and be like, come get me. Come get me right now. Like, my world is ending. To me, it's ending. And they'd be like, on their way. Like, nothing could actually be wrong. I could just feel sad. And they'd be like, alright, I'm here. You can't be sad if I'm here and I can you. And it'd be the same vice versa. I want to continue down this path with you guys involved. I want to get back to doing vlogs and updating you about life and talking about the things I've been through and struggles I face. I feel like I've gotten away from that a lot and that yeah, I've been doing video game content, which is great, but I miss our conversations. I miss talking about craziness that happened at work or craziness that happened in life in general. I want to get back into making more and better content. As of right now, I do not have a computer to access to record all the games that I used to. So for right now, Raft, Phasmophobia, Our Life, I think those are the three series I've been having running for the computer. Those are on pause. I bought a whole bunch of different games that I was fixing to start playing. Those are also on pause for right now. Um, till I can get a laptop or get a computer system or get whatever I need to be able to do PC gaming again. That is on pause. The content that's not on pause is, you know, my Minecraft series my uh, Pokemon series, um, all that. Random game videos. It's going to be back to mobile gaming, kind of getting back to my roots in a way. And I guess, in a way, that's very symbolic. Because I'm going back to my roots, going back into what I loved about content creating. I started off as a mobile gamer, and I'm getting back into that, and I'm slowly building my way back. But this time, I'm not building into 
what I didn't want in my life. I'm not focusing on the things that I didn't need to focus on. I'm zeroing in on content that I enjoy. Loving the videos I create. Loving the friends that I involve in my videos. I'm getting in back into what makes me happy. Not that my content before didn't make me happy, I, I'm still very proud of all of it. But my attitude in life was not what I wanted. So I want to be better. I want to do better for you guys. I want to show you that life gets better. Because there was a moment where I thought it wouldn't. And life proved me wrong. The people that I allowed into my life. The people I let go. Let them leave my life. It only proved to me that when you focus on what you need and you provide for yourself, then that's going to change the dynamics of your life. So it's okay to be a little selfish. It's okay to be a little bit vain. And if people want to be mad about it, stay mad. There's not a morning that I don't wake up and think to myself, today's going to be a good day. I mean, yeah, I have my grouchy mornings. I'm just like, ah, oh, it's raining again. But even when it's raining, even when it's storming, I think about how I can make my day better and how I can use this day to my advantage and live in the moment and create new memories and work hard and since then i've been doing better but i'm gonna stop rambling one thing i will say is i'm taking the time to learn things that i've always wanted to learn and i now have people in my life who are gonna hold me to that and they're gonna help me learn and I'm excited there are so many adventures and so many roads I've yet to take ahead of me and I'm excited to bring you guys along in that so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye guys Why don't we change this up too?